All right, folks, welcome back to the Rivers YouTube channel. I'm Sam. I'm Henry. And today we're going to talk about the wild card, uh, the super wild card weekend. Uh, and with that being said, uh, we're also going to talk about the seventh seed and should we really have a seventh seed in the NFL? Um, that all being said, uh, let's get rolling. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure that notification bell is on so you get notified whenever we post a new upload. And we are going to start with talking about the seventh C controversy. So, well, I wouldn't call it a controversy so I would much call as an it idea. So, personally, so all right, what happened? Can I explain? This, yes. Um, okay, both seven seeds got obliterated. Um, basically, I mean. Eagles was never a close game. It may have seemed like, I mean, it may have been a 16 point game. That's still a lot. Well, it was but, within zero points at one point. <laughs> uh, anyways, and then um, the Steelers got blown out by 21. So uh, the question arises, and I feel like this has been, I would say it's controversy. I would say a lot of people have been talking about it over the past few days. Should there really be a seventh seed in the NFL playoffs if, you know, these teams clearly can't compete? with these other teams. So I think the whole idea of this was to allow more competition, more money go into the league as well with games and television. So, um, yeah, I really agree with Sam. I mean, that, I'm not saying, listen, that don't agree. I haven't even said anything yet. No, that, like, that it's dumb because well, well, they just got to I never said, it. no, no, no. I would say that it would take about, you know, 20, 25 years for a seven seed to maybe win a Super Bowl. Is that really I know, worth 20, it? 25 years. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, I mean, they, it's been. I think the Giants were the last like six seed to do it, um, or maybe it was. Uh, yeah, it was the Giants because the Niners. Or maybe it was the. Whatever doesn't really matter. Um, but I, I, I just don't think it's the best idea, marketing wise and money wise. No, marketing be, wise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were about to say. Um, yeah, no, no, no. But they're making a lot more money off of it. Just more television, and also like, if you're the one seed going against seven seed, like you're just gonna be watching that game. And you're gonna actually be enjoying it because it's a guaranteed yeah, win. I mean, doesn't make it any better. But let's move well, on. Well, I'm not finished here. Before we move on, I, I would like to say, while, while this whole system kind of works, um, why, why I think the seven seed is highly overvalued, I think it, in, in, I think it essentially makes the one seed more valuable because now the one seed is the only team that gets a buy. So I think that's like a big deal, and like a big thing. But it also so. makes the two seed a lot more desirable. Wait, whoever, okay. it makes whoever goes against that seven seed a lot more, you know. It doesn't matter. You want that one seed. Right. It's not like you want the two seed. Um, but anyways, with that being said, let's just talk about the wild card games. All right, so Cowboys Niners is the game that I want to talk about first. And um, man, what an ugly showing from the Cowboys. Mike McCarthy should be on the hot seat now to be fired. No. Not because not he has been. Are you kidding me? You have a top five roster in the NFL to everybody's knowledge. You are the first team in NFL history with, I think, a thousand yard rusher, uh, a 4,000 yard passer, 2,000 yard receivers, and or I think. Some of them. Plus, plus like a 10 sack. I don't care. Micah he should not be on the hot seat to be fired. Absolutely. The he should only be on the thing hot that seat. was questionable in that he is a top five roster in the league, and he lost in the wild card round to a much less talented Niners team. Not a Niners much less are not. It's bad. I I hate to say it. They're not that bad. They not are at all. I think they can make a Super Bowl. They right. can. So. But that doesn't matter. The right. Cowboys have the better roster. They should have won that game. Trayvon Diggs got exposed to the world for the fraud he is. He got burned in man coverage, uh, especially by Debo and Ayuk. Um, listen, I think Cowboys, man, what, what are we doing here as a franchise? I mean, you have a top five roster in the NFL, and you, you're running QB draw on third down. I, with, can, no, 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 with 14 right. seconds left in the game, no timeouts. You can blame that on the refs all you want. It was dumb by the refs, but still... Just, Leading up to that right. play. The refs did everything they could to get them to get the ball off. Yes. Fast. 
And leading up to that play, I mean, you, there were just some bad coaching calls all around the game. And it's just, you can't do that when it's such Look, high I'm stakes. Look, I'm just saying, you have a top five roster in the NFL, no doubt. And you you lose in the wild card round, you should be on the hot seat. All right, so we're going to talk about one more game, Sam. And I'll let you choose. Now I'll let Jeff choose, actually. Thanks. Um, I guess let's talk about... It's tough. Um, let's talk about Raiders Bengals. Okay. And the controversy... Now, this is controversial. The whistle call in the middle of the play. Personally, so... Really, uh, well, let's talk about the game. Talk about uh, the game. The game, um, great showing by the Bengals. Joe Burrows had a great game. Defense hold out, held up decently. Um, De decently? They only gave up 19 points. That's pretty good. That's decent. That's decent. Um... But yeah, I feel like Bengals played a great game. Um, Raiders really did hold up a decent fight. Um, yeah, but I mean, here, okay, here, look, to put it shortly, here's what the Bengals did right. The the uh, Raiders are one of the best teams in deep pass coverage, so naturally the Bengals couldn't really do that all game. They didn't take those deep deep, uh, deep shots to Demar Chase. They didn't get those one or two plays where they just throw a deep bomb and it's caught. What they did was they attacked the middle of the field, they attacked the unders, they attacked you know kind of the middle of the field as crossers, and it worked all game long. And Joe Burrow was just firing all cylinders at least until the first half. Uh, uh, the first half was over, and so the Bengals did everything right to ensure that they win because the, you know they're a big play team. They win those games through big plays. And the they kind of modified their scheme just a little. They didn't really modify their scheme. scheme. They, just, they didn't. They didn't really yeah. modify their scheme. They just didn't take the deep shots that they always do, which is uh, which was a good call. And so, uh, but they did it right. And so I was kind of worried about the Bengals in that regard, but they did it right, they did it well. They got Jamar Chase working. He had, I think, nine receptions for 90 something yards. So uh, that was good. And then yeah. back to my point, uh, that blown whistle. Uh, so basically Joe Burrow, you know, running towards the sideline um, and, you know, kind of yeah. throw a beautiful play. And he, I guess the ref thought he touched out of bounds. So the he, it was clear that he didn't. He whistled in the middle yes. of the play before the touchdown was caught. So the play should have been blown dead, but it wasn't. It shouldn't have been in the first place. Whistle should have never been called. So there's that. Are we 100% sure, like, a ref blew that whistle yes. and it wasn't someone else? Yes. Okay. So, um, so then my stance on this, players. I think uh, if you look back at the footage, uh, the you receiver can't was. That, all right, but the receiver was clearly open. So even if the defender was confused and thought the play was dead, the, 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 the defender never get never yeah. gave up. Anyways, uh, I do want to talk about one more game very briefly. Um, Bills Patriots. Whoa, ah, Bills. Fantastic showing. You just took 20 years of frustration uh, from the Patriots out on them all in one game, and I loved every minute of it. It was a beautiful game to watch for the Bills. They were perfect on offense. Literally, first ever perfect game in the tech, Well, technically perfect. Perfect. It, it, you know, there's def different definitions as to what a perfect game is. But you played it beautifully. I mean, against a top five defense, too. Like, come on. I'm scared to what you're going to do against the Chiefs. In fact, I'm picking the Bills for the Chiefs. But that's not for this video. That's for next video. So, with that being said, folks, thanks for watching as always. Have a great night.